Guys, gonna not survive in this way. Let me show how it works. Uh, yep, come on. Hustle up, hustle up, knees up. Good work, good work. What the hell are you doing, Princess? Why are you interfering with their training? Uh, April just helped me. I was a bit confused. Adam, listen to me, okay? And listen to me carefully. She might seem like she's really smart right now, like she knows everything. But buddy, what's gonna happen when there's a real emergency, huh? A real emergency. People's lives are gonna be at risk. There's gonna be rivers of blood flowing. What is she gonna do? She's gonna freeze up. She'll panic like a typical woman. She'll be useless. Listen, you don't know anything about me and you're already slaughtering me. For your information, I'm extremely proactive in stressful situations. I know everything that I need to know about you. Everything, princess. You're not even capable of following simple tasks and instructions. I told you to run around 50 laps. And what do you do? You come over here and you distract them. But it's not even a task. You're just trying to make a fool out of me. And you're supposed to be preparing us for real life situations. And you're making me run in circles. How is it going to help me? I demand real, practical training. You want real training? Yeah. You want the real thing? Come with me, come with me, princess. Guys, great work, great hustle. Now, go to the water tower and hit the weights for a bit. Nice work. All right, now you. This is an obstacle course, the same one that's gonna be in the exam. What I want you to do is you scale the monkey bars, grab the tire, all right, grab the tires. You go over and under the stands, you drop the tire, you grab the ladder, run over here, hook it up here as if it's a wall, scale the wall, jump down, and you do 100 push-ups in front of me. You got 120 seconds. Now, go! Too slow, get down. Tires, get down. Go! Go, go, go! Move it, move it. Fail! Drop the tire, grab the ladder, let's go. Hustle. Hustle, hustle! Come on, girly. Do it. Faster. 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 Fail. You're too slow, girl. Get down. 100 push ups. 100 push ups. 100 push ups. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. 100 push ups. No. Well, you're giving up? You're giving up? And you're too slow. Real firefighters, what they do is they don't meet the time, they better the time. You know why? Because every second counts. Lives are saved. I didn't expect that. You know, listen, and I didn't expect this from you. Look at me. You're taking the space of somebody who can actually be a firefighter. You're too slow. You're too weak. Think about this. Those guys there, they can do the job. You can't, you're a girl. Go home, start a family, be a secretary, do something womanly. Just leave. Great hustle, guys! Woo! Great hustle! Hey, what's wrong? Guess what? Listen, you don't have to be so mad at yourself. And don't be upset with the chief. You did everything right. Right? It's not right when we are talking about lives. No, unfortunately, he's right. I didn't meet the standards. And what are you going to do about it? If I can't be a firefighter? I don't know. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You have a million opportunities in this life. When I was five, I woke up in my room engulfed in fire. I held my teddy bear and I told him that we are going to die. I was, I was crying. I was terrified. And then I saw my savior. He carried me and my teddy bear out of the flames in his arms. 
that day, my family, they were saved. Since then, it has been my only, only dream in my life. I want to give back by saving people. Then, April, you must not to give up. You can't just leave. You have to keep your head up. I tried. I tried. I tried. I did everything I could, but <laughs> I, I just can't. I really taken up someone's place. I don't think I would ever be able to complete that obstacle course. I can't do it in 120 seconds. Wait a... 120? I thought uh, career standard is uh, 240 seconds. No, no, not. Guys, heads up, heads up. I want to introduce your instructors, all right? They're going to be judging you today. Don't stress. You did an awesome job preparing. Everything's going to be good. It's going to be cool. So good luck today. Guys, you did a good job. And I believe that today you'll show your best results. So, right, let's go. Let's go. But you actually showed up today. As you can see. Well, you're definitely going to get a lesson done. What's going on? Nothing. April here, she's just a little bit nervous about the exam. Girl, it's a tough test, you know. All right, guys, let's go. Hey, don't worry. You'll do it great. I don't doubt it, so you shouldn't either. Thanks. Thanks for your support. All right, let's go. Nice. Great job, David. Awesome job. Great. Who's next? Who's next? April Blair. Oh, April Blair. And your time starts now. Come on, girl, just a bit more. Come on, come on, girl. Come on, girl, a bit more. Come on. She's given up. Guys, she fails. <laughs> she quit. That means she failed. Okay. I think okay. something happened back there. Okay? Are you okay? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. He's unconscious. Uh... Adam, Adam, I need water. Oh, oh, oh. oh easy, buddy, easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need some water? Okay. <clears throat> what happened? You're gonna be all right. You just need to see a doctor. You fainted. Matthew! Okay. Adam, Matthew, escort him, please. Uh, uh, don't worry, buddy. Shit happens. <clears throat> April. Good job. Hey, hey! Wait a second, what do you mean good job? She, she was slow, she was gonna fail. I'm not taking her on my fire department, nor is she gonna work on any other fire department, you hear me? She proved to be a great person by choosing somebody's life over her own success. That's the key element of a person to be a great savior. Listen, this at least has to be considered. That's right. What, are you guys kidding me? She set all this up because she was slow, she was gonna fail. Are you guys daft, you don't figure that out? You saw your cell phone on your clock. She, no, wait. What do you expect? I mean, I bet you that guy and her were in cahoots. What, what do you expect from a deceptive woman? Deceptive woman? Mr. Hoggart, pull yourself together. How can a station chief behave like this? She's got to get out of here. She failed. Fact. She's weak physically. Fact. Mr. Hoggart, where is all this anger coming from? Mr. Wood, thank you, but I don't want to be in his team anyway. Good. I suffer enough to understand that Mr. Hogart will not let me do my job in peace. He decided that I'm not belong here from the very beginning. He lie. You're decided a liar. decided me absurd training and try his best to demotivate me, right? I don't like this kind of leader. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Is that true? Wait, what, what's going on with you guys? Since when are we men gonna, gonna allow emotional roller coaster of a woman decide her fate to become a firefighter? 
she's got to pack up and get the hell out of here. We think that you have to pick up your stuff and go home. There's no place for sexism in the fire services. There's no place for sexism anywhere else. You're fired. What do you mean I'm fired? You guys are stupid. She's gonna hurt somebody. She's gonna kill somebody. She's weak. Get out. You'll see. I, I promise you that the next station chief will be fair and supportive of his employees. Maybe one day you will be the one to take over. Welcome to the team. Thanks. Yeah, congrats. <laughs>